Okay, so one of the main ways that I connect my clusters together, meaning the clusters of the white balloons, the clusters of the robin egg color, and then the clusters of the pale blue, is with a 260. So if you already have your clusters twisted together, you don't need to use the 260 to keep that cluster of white together. You just need to use the 260 to connect the white cluster to the pale blue. So let me show you what I mean. A cluster of six is fine. If, there are, if the balloons are smaller, then I would try and do a cluster of eight because those clusters, um, you basically don't want the smaller balloons to look small compared to your 24 inch cluster is automatically gonna look bigger. To connect it using this 260. So what I like to do is I like to wrap this around one hand leaving your thumb out, of course. And then um, I like to use one side and I'm gonna use that to connect to my large cluster. Now I start with the large cluster because I want these large balloons to be at the bottom. So I'm going to basically put this around one of the balloons and find the middle. And then when I find the middle, I'm just gonna tie the balloon, the 260 balloon that is, as tight as I can to the middle, just like we've been doing with the three knot situation. Now that I have that, I can release some of the balloon and pull again to make sure it's completely stretched out. I wrap my hand up again, and then I, was I gonna do Robin's egg next? I forgot what, I, what color I said. Okay, but since robin's egg is closest to me, I'm gonna put the robin's egg, white is on the bottom, robin's egg will be on top. And as I push down on the robin's egg, I am pressing the white balloons against my hip, keeping it secure. And then I'm pulling with my left, with this hand, which is my left, left, which is what the 260 is wrapped around, I'm going to do, release some of that. So it gets longer still making sure there's tension and then i'm going to wrap 260 around the first balloon i see oh gosh <laughs> let's try that again okay <laughs> so we're gonna put <laughs> this one the robin egg cluster on top of the white we're going to oh my gosh pull as much as we can on the 260 and we're gonna wrap it around the first balloon that we see, okay, which is this balloon right here. We're gonna wrap it around twice, and then we're gonna come down where we started, and pull more, and then the next balloon that we see, we're gonna wrap it around that one, okay, twice. And then once you have that, you're gonna feel how tense it is. So when you feel that tension, that's kind of your indicate, and you're near the end of the 260, that's your indication to start tying it off. So we'll do our triple tie like we did before. And there, so that's connecting two clusters together. So we have the robin's egg, we're gonna find we're gonna get the end of this 260 and find the middle, right? And we're gonna triple tie it, like we did before. When you are putting your hands in between these clusters, you wanna make sure that you don't have any jewelry on, or at least, especially rings. Take any rings off. Stretch it out as much as we can. Right? And we're gonna take this, press it on top of our robin's egg. Wrap this around our hand to make sure we're stretching it out. We're gonna find whatever balloon we want. We're gonna do this one. Wrap it around twice, twice and go down. And then when we come down, we're gonna go to the below color and wrap it around twice there. 
tie it off. So I just like to tie the two colors, two colors at a time um, using a 260. I don't like to use, like stretch my 260 out too much because they can still tear and break. So now we have our three colors. So we'll start with white like we did before. And you wanna reach in the middle of here and find the loosest neck when you're tying necks. So some of these necks will be, because they're twisted, will be looser than others. So, and the larger balloons tend to have more length on their neck. So you'll always find a lot of loose. But I found my neck that I wanna use. And then the next color was what, robin egg? So then same thing with this. You wanna reach your hand in and kind of feel around, see what neck is the loosest. Once you find your two loosest necks, you want to basically tie them together as if you're just tying two balloons together. So just how we did in the beginning when we were inflating, um, I cross my arms, <laughs> I pull my necks and make an X, and then I just tie it, okay? And then now our next color is the pale blue. We're gonna find the loosest neck in the robin egg, and then we'll find the loosest neck inside the pale blue. I hope nothing pops because there's just so much static where I am right now. Um, and then again, we're just gonna cross. My hair is like, whew. feel it. Maybe that's not the loosest. <laughs> oh my God, I'm having a struggle. tell the difference because it's harder to tie if you don't have the loosest neck so um, and you'll lose your grip so there so that is the other cluster <laughs>